not just a place where you eat and cook, it's somewhere where you actually are sociable and enjoy your whole evening. It's the cool place where we entertain. Hi, I'm Mel. This is my husband, Max. We live here in West London with our two puppies, Marmalade and Midnight, and our 20-year-old cat, Memes. So we first heard about Ren Kitchens four years ago when we were designing our first kitchen, which was three kitchens before this one. And we were doing some research to figure out what kind of kitchen we wanted to have. And so we went in to have a free kitchen design. When we moved into the property, I uh, needed quite a lot of work doing, in particular the kitchen. Uh, it was a little old galley kitchen, uh, old grimy cupboards, horrible stove. Um, and so for us to get that up to the standard we wanted and have this beautiful, well-lit, bright new kitchen, so yeah, just fantastic. We are quite social with our friends, and so we really love to host people here, especially with the dogs. It's not so easy for us to go out, so we just regularly have friends over, and we're all pitching in around the island and watching Max cook up a storm for us. Um, so it's a great space for us, super social. What I really like about it is kind of the, the size and the space, and you can feel like you're moving through the kitchen. Um, you know, we've got we've got music and speakers and things. Uh, and in the summer, we actually open up the bifolds and have like a big long table there. And um, yeah, it's it, it's great because you've kind of got the kitchen and everything here, so you can um, you know have that kind of that theatre element of cooking with your friends, uh, and then lots of space to to entertain and drink and have fun. When we were choosing the kitchen, had a lot of pins saved on Pinterest, a lot of <laughs> inspiration from various sites. Then we went to the showroom and then this was the closest match to one of the kitchens that we had seen online. Yeah, we just knew this one would work well. It's great to go to the showroom and actually kind of see how the kitchen would look in real life and um, yeah, that really helped us kind of make the decision. We worked with a lady called Julia. We were there for three hours I for the first time. Actually, I think Max yeah. fell asleep yeah. about three times. <laughs> And that was so fun for me because just laying out the kitchen and I'm a designer myself so she was super accommodating with me sitting next to her on her chair <laughs> altering the layout many times. I think what was good is that she came up with good suggestions. It wasn't just let's try and make it as simple as possible. Um, she kind of came up with some innovative ideas that we hadn't thought of and uh, yeah Mel and her got along really well. I wanted marble originally, and actually Julia, our designer, talked me out of that, suggesting this quartz, which looked like marble, but was way, way more versatile in terms of maintenance. And I'm super happy with the finish. And there were a whole lot of slabs in the showroom, so we just had a look at each of those and um, was convinced to get for this piece. To be honest, we couldn't afford to do the whole kitchen in the quartz, so she suggested mixing it with some of the wood block. And actually, I love now that we have the two different styles. My favorite part of the kitchen is the island. So I don't actually cook, which is hilarious because I designed the whole kitchen. Max didn't partake in the design. He does all the cooking. So I sit on the island and watch while Max does cooking theatre. Yeah, so for me, uh, I really, really like the, the, you know, the hob. I love the, the oven unit, I think it's amazing. Uh, and the wine fridge. We finished the renovation in July and we're not that far from then. We've actually sold the house now. When we were selling, the real estate agents made prime use of this space. This is where all the photography happened and this was the headline image on the listing on Right Move and Zoopla and basically was the thing that sold the house. I think without this kitchen we wouldn't have gotten near the asking price that we did. We're buying our new property shortly and that needs a new kitchen in the main house and also has a barn that we'll probably convert so we'll definitely be going to Ren and getting their help. Really, really sad to leave the kitchen behind. It's, it's definitely our favourite place uh, in the house, um, but also excited to know that we can go through the process again and design an even better one. Mm -hmm.